Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel. We hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show top 5 best 2024 adventure motorcycles for senior riders first look review, and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos, thanks for watching. Honda has submitted certification data in Switzerland for updated Africa twin models, with evidence of substantial changes in store for the Adventure Tour. The preliminary data is specifically for new Africa twin Adventure sports models, with both a manual or dual-clutch transmission. The data is only partially complete, but what has been released indicates the Africa twin Adventure sports is getting an updated engine and changes to its chassis. As of this writing, there is no data about updated versions of the non-adventure sports models, but we expect that will be available very soon. The certification filings list a new engine code, SD13E, for the manual Africa Twin Adventure Sports codenamed CRF1100A4 and the DCT version codenamed CRF1100D4. Since the 2020 model year when they changed from the previous 998 cubic centimeters engine to the current 1084 cubic centimeters displacement, the Africa Twin models were certified with the engine code SD080. We can confirm the new engine will remain at the same 1084 cubic centimeters displacement, and that the peak horsepower output remains certified for the same 101 horsepower at 7500 rpm. But the torque output sees a jump from the current 77.4 foot-pounds at 6,250 rpm to 82.6 foot-pounds at 5,500 rpm. The engine isn't the only change coming. According to the certification data, the new model has a wheelbase of 1,570 mm. That's 5 mm, or 0.2 inches, shorter than the Africa Twin's current wheelbase which has remained at 62.0 inches across all variants since the update from CRF-1000L to CRF-1100L for the 2020 model year. If you've been eagerly awaiting the release of the 2024 BMW R1300 GS, then we've got good news for you, because it's finally here. The engine isn't the only thing that's new about this bike, either, as BMW Motorrad basically redesigned the whole concept of its flagship adventure tour from the ground up. The resulting bike weighs a full 26 pounds less than the 2023 R1250 GS, says BMW. Let's dive right in, because there's a lot to discuss. The engine. The 2024 BMW R1300 GS is powered by a 1300cc air and liquid-cooled boxer engine with bore and stroke of 106.5mm by 73mm. It makes a claimed 145 horsepower at 7750 rpm alongside 105 pound-feet of torque at 6,500 rpm. It uses BMW shift cam variable valve timing technology, with intake valves that are 44 mm in diameter and exhaust valves that are 35.6 mm in diameter.
BMW also concentrated on increasing torque throughout the rev range, specifically focusing on the band between 3,600 and 7,800 RPM. There, it says that over 96 pound-feet of torque is consistently available, resulting in a strong pull throughout that should work well in most riding situations. At the same time, BMW says, it managed to keep fuel consumption comparable to the R1250 GS, it's just using its power more efficiently. Top speed is acclaimed 124 miles per hour, and 0 to 62 miles per hour time is listed as 3.39 seconds. Ducati has just announced the 2024 Desert X Rally, a souped-up version of the Ducati Desert X made for more aggressive off-road riding. Thankfully there's more to the Ducati Desert X Rally than just its livery and high fender. Falling in with the trend of getting highly skilled off-road riders to race big adventure bikes and gnarly competitions, Ducati has already fielded the Desert X Rally in the Erzberg Rodeo. with five-time Enduro World Champ Antoine Mio winning the twin-cylinder class. So it boasts a smorgasbord of upgrades over the base model Desert X. For starters, there's 20 mm more suspension travel at each end, bringing the overall numbers to 250 mm at the front and 240 mm at the rear. The front end wears new billet aluminum triples, Gripping a set of closed cartridge KYB forks that sport a Kashima coating on the uppers and a DLC coating on the lowers. There's an Olean steering damper in play too. Like the regular Desert X, the Ducati Desert X Rally has an aluminum swing arm, but the pivot point sits in a different spot. A fully adjustable KYB shock features a bigger piston than the base model's unit. With the suspension changes, the Desert X Rally's ground clearance now sits at 280 mm. Like its sibling, the Desert X Rally wears a 21-inch front wheel and an 18-rear wheel. But the Rally's wheels are built with billet aluminum hubs, Excel rims, and Pirelli Scorpion Rally STR tires, and its rear wheel is half an inch narrower than before. Three variants of Versus 1000 will be available to European customers in 2024 with standard S and SE models on offer and two new color options available across what amounts to 12 model options. Offering an entry point into the exciting leader class Versus 1000 stable, the standard model of Versus shares many of the attributes of the other two machines in the range including assist and slipper clutch, electronic cruise control, three-mode Kawasaki traction control plus selectable power modes and integrated anti-lock braking. Additionally, like each machine in the range, the standard machine is also available in a number of addition model types from Kawasaki dealers covering Tourer, Tourer Plus, and Grand Tourer making the overall range option an impressive 12 models. A midpoint in the range, the Versus 1000S replaces the analog-style meter of the standard machine with a full-color TFT display that can also be paired via Bluetooth to the rider's smartphone relaying a vast array of information via the Kawasaki Radiology app. As part of an overall specification that includes an IMU enhanced electronics package, the S adopts a dual direction quick shifter plus LED cornering lights and rider selectable integrated riding modes. And from a practical perspective, a large height adjustable windscreen, handguards and grip heaters all feature in the specification. Topping out the three machine range, plus addition variants, is the Versus 1000 SE encompassing all of the advanced electronic, technical and engineering features of the S model adding an extra layer of rider convenience via the adoption of Showa electronically damped suspension.
The new Suzuki GSX-S1000T looks like a bona fide Kawasaki vs. 1000 killer. Back in 2021, Suzuki stirred the pot with an interesting trademark filing for a new 1000 cubic centimeters motorcycle, dubbed the GSX-S1000T. It would sit between the GSX-S1000 and the GSX-S1000 GT, serving duty as an inline for adventure tourer to rival the Kawasaki vs. 1000. Though Suzuki has remained tight-lipped since then, it looks like the Japanese giant is finally ready to launch the new Gixxer soon. We say this because the first-ever spy shots of the ADV Tourer have now surfaced on the internet, revealing plenty of juicy details. These also hint at an imminent launch by the end of 2023. While we can't use the images, copyright violations for the win, the most noteworthy element in the spy shots is the design. Unlike the naked, the teeth flaunts brawny bodywork, complete with a massive top fairing and edgy side panels. No, these don't come from the GSX-S1000 GT and feature an all-new shape to set it out from the rest. Also, there's no lower cowl here, as seen on the GT. Other than this, a closer look reveals a new headlight and windscreen. The former has vertically stacked LEDs, reminiscent of the GSX-S1000, while the latter appears to be an all-new unit with manual adjustability. All this time, the latter half of the motorcycle looks exactly like the GT, thanks to the puny exhaust and chunky tail panels. The only addition is the aluminum luggage rack. Like the design, Suzuki has tweaked the riding posture as well. Both the rider and pillion saddles boast thicker padding than the GSX-S1000, while the handlebar now rests a new riser. This, along with the mid-set footrests, should ensure a sporty yet comfy sitting position. That being said, the new Tourer will be slightly harder to live with, credit to its 825mm seat height, 15mm more than its naked sibling. The new seat height is confirmed in Suzuki's trademark filings. Once aboard the saddle, you'll be greeted by a TFT instrument cluster. I see you're rolling up over black cat